Welcome back to Upstate Speed Tests. Today we are on the campus of Binghamton University, nestled high above the Susquehanna River Valley. That was cheesy. But anyway, uh, yeah, library tower for Binghamton University, dead ahead of us. We've got mid-band up there from Verizon along with some CBRS, and uh, you can see the RRUs up there as well. And you also have, if I can find it, T-Mobile with uh, N41 right there. And I believe at and up there as well, but it's it's kind of hard to tell from this angle. Uh, they have to be, because they're, they're not on the macro in the distance there. So like, basically they would have no service here if it wasn't for the library tower. But anyway, uh, Verizon also has a in-building system down in the lecture hall and maybe a few other buildings on campus as well. Uh, I happened to be at Texas Roadhouse for dinner tonight and I figured I'd come uh, do some speed tests up here because it's been quite a while. And we'll see, Verizon was pulling two gigs last time I was here, so it'll be uh, interesting to see if anything's changed. I, uh, I don't have any air shots uh, for today's testing, but I do have some old ones, so maybe I'll throw, uh, maybe I'll throw a couple old ones up there to uh, make you feel like you didn't miss out on anything in today's video. But yeah, give the video a thumbs up and uh, hit subscribe if you're not. We're right next to the uh, Appalachian Dining Hall, which has really stunning views of the valley, and then uh, Mountain View, Mountain View dorms are up there as well. Those were built in 2004 and are some of the more coveted living spaces on campus. And yeah, you just, you've got great views down into the valley from up here. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get started. All right, I've got all the phones dialed up and ready to go. We'll start out with AT&T because I think they'll probably be the least exciting of the three here. Or actually, we're gonna do Boost Mobile too, so least exciting of the four in this location. AT&T, strangely enough, across the street at the Texas Roadhouse had mid-band enabled and I got close to 500 down. I'll try to remember to put that speed test result on the screen for you. So we got a 69 millisecond unloaded ping, which is actually pretty good for AT&T. 702 on the loaded. Jitter is at 29, which is kind of high. Uh, and let's see where we're going to finish on the upload. 54.9 with a 435 millisecond loaded ping for the upload. Uh, so yeah, let's do... Let's do an in-network test next. AT&T, we'll do the AT&T wireless server in New York City. So this test will stay in-network, and we're getting a 40 millisecond unloaded and a very comparable result on the download, it looks like. The jitter's at seven this time, which is much better than the out-of-network test. So basically, if you're unfamiliar or new to speed testing, we're testing on, an, on a server that AT&T operates, so the data is staying within AT&T's network. Uh, so in theory, the results should be better because there's less hops or less other connections involved. And yeah, it actually, it looks like the results are slightly better on the unloaded and the jitter, but the loaded ping times are pretty comparable to what we were at. And then uh, just because Okla has had trouble uploading data to the coverage map app, there's, if you want to pause here, these are some results I took when I went for about a 29 minute drive earlier west of the Binghamton area. Uh, AT&T, not so hot once you get out of the area, although the results are, the results are fine. They're just not as good as T-Mobile and Verizon. So yeah, let's run one test using the CoverageMap.com uh, app. Shout out to Stenson. And uh, let's see what we get. 85 millisecond unloaded ping. This test does not provide loaded ping data, unfortunately. Maybe it'll come someday, who knows. So much slower this time, 117, although the data is going to Washington, D.C., which is considerably further than some of the other tests we uh, ran on. And we used 132 megs of data. All right, let me, uh, let me switch over to the uh, iPhone, and we will test Verizon and T-Mobile and Boost next. 
Uh, but first, let's give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, CircledIn.com. Today's video is brought to you by CircledIn. CircledIn.com lets you split the cost of a wireless family plan from major providers like Verizon, AT&T, or T-Mobile, and even from prepaid providers like Cricket or Google Fi. And now they've even added the capability for you to split the cost of a streaming service from places like Netflix, HBO, Hulu. Check them out at CircledIn.com. Thank you again for supporting the channel. Ooh, welcome back. We've got Verizon Wireless fired up and ready to go. Verizon pointed right at us off the library tower. The library tower is about 15 stories with a penthouse. Uh, so it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty tall. It's the second tallest building in the Binghamton area, which tells you how uh, farm country this is, that our top two, is, our top two tallest high rises are both under 20 stories. The first tallest being the state office building in downtown Binghamton. So there goes Verizon, 47 millisecond unloaded ping. Loaded pings at 457, which is really good for Verizon. And damn, look at that upload. Am I allowed to say that on YouTube? I hope so. 160 megabits per second on the up. One of the better uploads you'll find in the Binghamton area on a wireless network. Let's test. My fat thumb just hit the wrong button. Let's test Cornell University. So we'll go from one university to the next. 35 millisecond unloaded ping. And we're approaching a gig. Like I said, in the past, I've been able to hit two gigabits per second. And I can hear people clicking their keyboards now. Turn off your dual SIM! Well, last time I did it was on dual SIM as well. So I don't think it makes a difference. Anyway, 934 down again. 35 millisecond unloaded, similar loaded ping times, upload slightly slower that time. And look at that, we got all green except we're missing a dot or two. I don't, I don't really understand the, I mean, I kind of do, but I kind of don't understand the metrics that they're using to come up with those, that dot system. Let's test Verizon Wireless. So we'll stay in network for this test, go into Rochester, New York. And I don't know how we could get any more of an ideal condition for testing. The C-band panel is literally pointed right at us. Uh, so we're failing to break two gigs. And I don't know why. Well, heck, we're failing to break a gig. But, you know, again, these are crazy impressive speeds for, for a wireless network. It's, it's pretty freaking awesome. Uh, yeah, so let's do the coverage map test. and see what happens. 33 millisecond unloaded ping. And it's looking like our results are gonna be pretty similar to Okla. Just a little bit slower. And again, the upload, uh, the upload is mind boggling. If you've got some big files to upload and you're in Binghamton, this is the parking lot to do it in. Anyway, uh, give me just a moment, switch over to T-Mobile. Welcome back. We got T-Mobile cooking with gas. I reset everything. That is a loud seagull. Holy cow. Anyway, here we go. Again, T-Mobile panel also pointed right at us. And we're breaking just over a gigabit. There should be little to no load on these networks right now on this tower because BU is done for the year. Or done for the academic year anyway. There may still be some international students on campus, but I'm sure that's, you know, not going to put a strain on a connection like that. So by all metrics, T-Mobile slightly outpacing Verizon in this location. Let's do uh, one in-network test. Uh, the T-Mobile Syracuse ser server has some kind of weird bug where it disconnects and sometimes won't connect at all. So we'll go to Wayne, New Jersey. Drop a comment if you're familiar with that T-Mobile bug. Other people have mentioned it before. So darn, going in network, we got a 29 millisecond unloaded ping. Loaded ping time slightly better than before, one millisecond jitter. And it looks like uh, we're approaching 1200 down. Wow, pretty good. And the upload also very competitive with Verizon. Maybe just a hair slower than some we got from Verizon. And one on the coverage map test, just to keep everything fair and equal. Although for boost, I don't know that I'm going to have time to do that, but we'll see. Yeah, 
so coveragemap.com test, pretty comparable to Okla. Again, just slightly slower. And the upload's about the same. Going to Washington, D.C. Give me one second, I'll reset for Boost Network. All right, everybody, welcome back. We're connected to Boost Mobile. We've got a five megahertz slice of N71, which is very, very tiny. That's, you're not gonna do anything too impressive with that, but perhaps when we start testing, it'll kick over to the, uh, I think it's N70 at 25 megahertz that they own in this area. Uh, so yeah, let's get testing on Boost. Here we go with Boost Mobile. So we're starting out with a 70 millisecond unloaded ping. The loaded ping times are slowly going up, but still pretty acceptable. And again, 200 megabits per second down. Uh, not competitive with the other networks in this uh, area. Well, comp it's competitive with AT&T, but not very competitive with T-Mobile and Verizon. I mean, T-Mobile and Verizon, you're pulling over a gig easy. And 200, you know, no, again, nobody's going to complain about these speeds. It's just not as exciting as the top two. And AT&T is even a little bit better than that. So uh, AT&T by far is probably the weaker, the weakest of the major three networks in our area. So Boost, you know, with a brand new network running competitive with AT&T, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, and, you know, nobody, again, nobody would complain about those. Let's see if I can find a Boost, net, uh, Boost Mobile server. Uh, I think the closest one's probably in New York City. Uh, yep, there it is. New York City is about a three-ish hour drive from Binghamton, if you're unfamiliar. 52 millisecond unloaded ping. And it looks like we're going to top out right around that 200 mark. Boost Mobile's closest tower to here is probably the macro on the hill just to the north of campus over there. I believe they're up there, and I think I have the pictures to prove it. Anyway, there you go. 197 down. Looks like we're going to finish around 23-ish on the up. The loaded ping times are pretty high, and the jitter's fine. And then, yeah, just to keep everything uh, nice and even, this might be my last test with Boost. I'm probably going to call it and cancel them real quick here because my $17 a month promotional credit is running out. So here we go. Washington, D.C., same as the other two, 60 millisecond unloaded ping. And it's looking like, again, we're going to be just slightly slower than the Okla test. But again, nothing terrible. You know, these speeds aren't complaint. These aren't complaint territory. Nobody's going to call Boost and go, yo, I'm only getting 160 down. Credit my account because uh, it's usable. It's very fine. The upload kind of stinks, but, uh, you know, it's, again, usable. So there we go. Well, thanks for joining us, guys, here on the campus of picturesque Binghamton University here in upstate New York, right out, right to the west of downtown Binghamton. And uh, yeah, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and click subscribe if you're not. Thanks for watching.